out here foraging wild spinach for fermented plant juice. We got a whole bucket. It's our one gallon buckets. We're grabbing the growth tips. Where all the growth hormones are sitting. All in the top like inch, two inches of the plant. All this succulent, succulent thick leaves. Spinach leaves. Grabbing only the top few inches. We're out here in the morning trying to get these green, vigorous growing greens as they're waking up so that they're still holding all their vital nutrients and all the energy that they'd be using throughout the day. But we're harvesting it and then we're gonna ferment it with brown sugar. And after it ferments with brown sugar, it turns into alcohol. And then the alcohol is gonna strip all the growth hormones, enzymes, nutrients, uh, NPK, if you will, um, into a water soluble form for us to use at the garden, in our bodies, in our gut. We can use this on everything, just about everything. All the growth hormones to promote more growth for our plants, for our gut. FPJ in the morning. Let's do it, let's harvest some. Check it out, we got spinach here. Dandelion here. <laughs> and we're making FPJ out of the spinach. Trying to keep all the little bugs out. Grabbing all the growth tips. Keeping everything growing as we're harvesting. That big juicy one right there. Mm -hmm. Let's go mix it with some brown sugar. Here we've harvested our material, our plant material. We have sugar, non-GMO, pure cane, unrefined or least refined that we can find for the cheapest price. Here are stones that I got with a crock pot that I have. Uh, we're just gonna use it to weigh down the, the, the plant material so that uh, the, the anaerobic microbes don't take over when the material floats on the top of the surface. So uh, we, only, we have two buckets here and one um, weight. So we're gonna use rocks for the other one as weight. So let's get to mixing with the brown sugar. So here we've mixed, we've added sugar on top of the leaves. And now we're gonna mix it together, but with like minimal pressure, not to destroy anything, but just to promote things, um, to promote the osmotic pressure, to promote the uh, sugar and the leaves without force to to activate to turn into to extract to turn into the fermented plant juice so
this this solution, the fermented plant juice solution, is going to be used for a number of applications, including um, the construction of the the soil. When we build up the soil with the indigenous microorganisms, we're going to use this fermented plant juice solution to feed the microbes that were um, bio using as the bio augmentation but um, so these are the nutrients and the uh, the indigenous microorganisms are like the life so these are gonna feed the life so this is very important this and then um, what we'll see in the in the upcoming videos is fish we do this with fish we do this with fruit and um, vital, vital nutrients. So as you're incorporating the material, you're gonna feel your hands start to um, almost syrup, like with the, with the sugar, it's gonna turn into like a, a more sticky of a process, more like a, like a syrup. You know you're done like manually incorporating it as a, uh, your hands start to like syrup up so then you can just add your weight on top what do you mean by manually incorporating uh manually incorporating by like as as we as we make this um osmotic pressure start to happen with our hands with our two hands and we promote the health we are uh, we're we're we're, we're, we're forcing this to happen, but we're not forcing it through manipulation. We're forcing it through encouragement. We're encouraging these, these nutrients to be available to our, our readiness, to our availability. So the mindset is Yes, the mindset is huge, man. Huge. Encouragement, positive encouragement. Positive vibrations. <laughs> I can just break these up a little bit too, yeah. Uh no, I could just leave them in whole pieces, yeah. Well, if there's too much sugar, it's going to syrup up really quick and it's going to be like um, like too wet, like too too sugary. It's not going to like combine the way you want it to. The way you want it to is just like a it's going to like stick on the side on the outsides of the leaves, but as well as like incorporate and turn into a syrup. So like some of it will be stuck on the outside and some of it will be like syruping. So is it better to put less sugar? Yeah, you're better off putting less sugar and then working your way up towards more sugar. As you can feel the process start to happen, the, the process of osmotic pressure. So here at the bottom of the, I don't know, it's hard to see on the video, at the bottom of the, of the bucket, you can kind of see things like syruping up a little bit. And my hands are definitely starting to. So we're not crushing anything, we're promoting things promoting life, 
promoting the extraction of the nutrients. So you can see that my hands are like shining because the moisture from the plant is starting to come out due to the brown sugar. Is it only the water that's coming out? It's the water, it's the chlorophyll from the plant that's hiding inside the plant. Also like the blood of the plant is the chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. So when we do this, we're getting the chlorophyll and all the, all the nutrients, all the elements that it has. So like if it's high in nitrogen or magnesium or iron or whatever it may have in it, inside of its leaves. Um, So here's the final. Um, as we had before, as we were starting, the the green matter made it up to the top of this one gallon bucket. But now that we incorporated the brown sugar, it's it's only like like there on the bucket, about a quarter of the way up the bucket. So. We're gonna give it five days in this bucket, maybe six days in this bucket. With the more heat, the less time it'll take. And uh, we're just gonna cover it with a with a towel, and that's it. So this is the final. It's now covered with a breathable lid. It has a weight on top of it. The Wild harvest spinach is mixed um, approximately evenly, approximately even quantity with brown with sugar, with unrefined sugar, and we're gonna let it um, sit how it is now, um, but in our house um, or outside if you have like a like a natural structure that maintains humidity. We're gonna let it sit there for about a week, depending on the heat. The more heat, the less time. So here in San Diego, we've had quite the heat waves. Gonna this osmotic pressure is gonna take take action real quick. And we're gonna be able to strain it again without force. We're just gonna hang a bag as we strain it. We're, let gravity ex extract all the the vital nutrients that we're looking for to feed our microorganisms maintain the health of the soil